Hey, welcome back. I want to show you how I connected this Ledger Nano X to the Ledger Live mobile app on my iPhone. I set this up for the first time. I'm brand new to this. So I'm going to walk through the steps that I took to get this to work with my device. I'll show you right here, right now. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. My name is Joshua. I talk about all things personal finance. I built and sold my tech company, which taught me a whole lot about money. And I share the lessons that I've learned and the ones I'm still learning with you right here every week. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and liking this video. I would really, really appreciate it. Okay, so into today's topic, we're talking about the Ledger Nano X, which is a crypto hardware wallet. And if you don't know what this is, if you want to learn about setting one up in general, I made a video all about that. You can watch it here. It's the first time I did that and I'm a newbie to uh, crypto. So you'll see me walk through in what could be a relatable process for you. But once you've set up your Nano and you have Ledger Live on your desktop, for example, you may want it to be on your phone so you can walk around and check your balance and see how things are at any time. And that's what I decided to do by downloading the Ledger Live app. So to get started, you're gonna to go to your phone's app store. I'm gonna talk about iOS and your iPhone. Jump over to the mobile app store, and that's where you're gonna download Ledger Live. Once you launch the application, you're gonna be taken through this nice onboarding flow where they basically pair the device, the Nano, with your mobile device. And I actually wasn't sure about this. I thought, am I gonna to have to enter my recovery phrase into the app and, and how does this work? And no, it actually does all of this through Bluetooth and it connects without having to enter that sensitive information. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these screens here. The first thing you're gonna see is it's going to ask what type of Nano you have. For me, I have the Nano X, so I went ahead and tapped on that option. So if your device is already set up like mine was, then it simply asks you to pair and connect to the app. Okay, so you're going to pair your Nano, and it gives you this warning. It says, hey, make sure that the recovery phrase is from what you had during the setup process. You're not gonna enter that or um, you know expose any of that. You just wanna make sure that everything is still very secure. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your Nano is indeed turned on. You'll have to unlock it with your pin code. And then you're going to let it sit while you're trying to pair back to the device. And so the app is going to sit there and look and scan looking for a Nano to pair with and it hopefully will find the one that you have with you. Here on this screen, you can see that it did pick up my Nano device, and then I simply tap to confirm that is the one that I'd like to pair the app with. Next up is a confirmation with a code to complete the pairing process. So you'll see a code on the mobile application and on the visual display of your Nano device. And you just wanna obviously make sure that those two codes match and confirm so you can proceed. You'll press both buttons on the Nano to confirm. Now iOS will throw up this alert view, which is basically a system preference type of confirmation to say, hey, this device wants to pair. Are you, are you trying to do this? Is this exactly what you're looking for? And you would simply uh, confirm that and say yes. Okay, and much like on the desktop initial setup, there is this device authentication check. So that's going to allow uh, the Ledger Live system to basically confirm, hey, this is indeed a authentic device we can pass the sensitive information. So back on the Ledger Live, you will now see uh, it prompting you on the visual display to allow Ledger Live access. Now this is not giving access and, and disclosing all of your private keys. This is simply just allowing that pairing process to take place like I mentioned. So push both of those buttons there on the physical hardware device and you will be taken to the next step. All right, so pairing is now complete. You get that confirmation. And the next step is you're gonna actually be able to rename the device. So you have your Nano X, you can name it something memorable to you, a nickname, something else that you want uh, so that you can identify it more easily. You'll receive another confirmation screen and finally this really exciting uh, completion screen that makes it feel really good. They have some animations and confetti. Pairing Bluetooth devices can kind of be a tricky process sometimes. It's not always perfect. So uh, getting through that, especially with the sensitivity around crypto and, and uh, you know, some of that technology. You've made it this far, that's very good. And now the fun begins. Here's where you'll actually add accounts and this is where you're going to go and add Bitcoin or Ethereum or others. And now because you're doing that, especially if this is you setting up the app to an existing account, uh, you'll be able to see your balances start to, to pair and roll in displaying right there 
on the mobile application. And you can see here that I added Bitcoin. I successfully uh, placed that within the mobile app. And now I'm going to be able to see my own balance displayed there. And that's really it. So now I, I have my balances. You can see them. I can see transaction history here and it's really cool. So on the go, I'm able to look at this Ledger Live app and just see where things are. And lastly, now if I want to go add more crypto to this wallet, what I've done is simply go launch uh, my Nano, turn it on, unlock it with the pin code, pair it with the mobile app, generate that QR code or that key that then I use over on Coinbase or some other exchange to send those crypto assets to the wallet. And so I kind of talked about that uh, in my last video, and I'll probably do another video on that specific process. But that is what I've learned so far. It's been really, really interesting, and hopefully this helps you as maybe a beginner to crypto and harbor wallets, figuring out how to pair your Ledger Nano X to your iPhone. Okay, if that was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. I would love to have you be here with me every week for content just like this. Until next time, I will talk to you then.